from Atlas Bay. In this video, I made a smart project that Atlas Sonic Sensor and then uh, servo. Guess what? You can guess it from this structure. Yes, that's smart bit. When you place a uh, object in front of the uh, ultrasonic sensor, the servo opens the lid and it closes the lid again. The you can see that video without skipping, so you can make this smart ultrasonic and servo projects. Now I will show you how to do this step by step. Now for this project we will use a servo and an ultrasonic sensor, USB cable and power supply or a battery or a power bank as your wish, some wires, more wires and a scissor and then tape, double side tape or otherwise glue gun and the um, Arduino you know the brain of our computer and then small small container like this covered with cardboard at the one side and the other side is plain open and the sketch and the thread now let's so i will show you how to do the first step take the ultrasonic sensor and the double set tape now take some tape and paste this and paste the ultrasonic sensor sensor in front of the container, it's a dustbin, so a smart dustbin like this, like this, and this is where now let's stick it the servo. And uh, you first you want to poke a hole in the opening so you can give the touch pad, you can keep this. And tie this and now you this is the important step take this like this an object or a and drawing pencil and keep the take the thread from the opening now our servo will take this now there are some holes in the servo so tie the thread to the holes on the servo. I will tie it up and I will catch you when I finished. As you can see, I have tied this servo to the uh, sketch to the inside the container. Now take the double side tape of the noodle and, and stick the servo to the cardboard. Like this, and like this, and now let's take the brain of the computer and place it like this in here. like this to not to fall and the battery to here to give it power so this to give it power and yeah now our base is finished now let's connect it up Let's wire it up. Connect now. Let's first connect the servo to the Arduino board. Connect the red to the board or the small breadboard because we have only one five volts in the Arduino. So like that. Connect the VCC to five volt or the negative rail of the breadboard and the ground to ground. We can connect it to the ground because it has two grounds. And the signal to 3 because it's a PWM signal. So we 3. 
now now our connection for the server is finished now let's connect the ultrasonic sensor to the board my board now why i need this so many wires because the length for this are not suitable so we use two lens two wires to connect to connect it and we can make one long wire with connection so connect the vcc to 5 volts or the board to the board and use this same and make sure you connect this to the 5 watts so we can give power this is and the trigger pin to any uh, any pw pins so in this case we will use fire And the echo pin to any PWM pins. So echo. In case we do use fire, now connect the ground to ground. to ground and make sure you connect this to the 5 watts now let's code it up I left in the description now I will explain the board include servo H you want to include the library called servo H Servo lead servo. Servo means lead servo. Uh, means we are using the servo as lead, so we use that lead servo. Constant is trigger pin is in five, echo pin is six, and it want to show that long duration and in distance. Board setup. Well, lead servo attach on three. Lead servo right, one degree degrees means it want to. Um, open in the uh, not fully open in the start uh, fully closed on the start so it will be on one side and pin mode trigger pin is output echo pin is input you know trigger pin is output and echo pin is input serial begin 9600 this is for the serial monitor while in the wild loop we have digital light trigger pin is low Delay my 2 microseconds. Digital right trigger pin is high. Delay 10 microseconds. Trigger pin is low. Then it want to read the distance. Duration pulse in echo pin high. Now so it want to read the distance. And distance duration. This is the code. Calculate the distance. Uh, 0 0.034 by 2. Serial printed distance. You want to print the distance and the distance, uh, actual distance means this distance goes here. Now, if a distance is less than 15, that means close, that means close late, delay 3000 second, open late, delay 2000 second. If that means there are uh, any object, uh, no, we, no, like any object is there any object is there like an object is there like garbage and it want to close the delay 3000 second open lead delay 2000 second delay 100 second now wide open wild open lead we have lead servo right 180 oh uh, led oh, lead open no oh, this is lead closed because 180 is the starting and uh, here we have opened now open 
and the close. Now it will work. Now let's upload the code. Upload the code. Make sure you have the correct board and the correct pin. This works on every board, but you want to give it in the PW pins and you want to see the connection is applied to PW pins. Let's check this out. I have uploaded the code. Let's see whether it's working or not. And I made some few changes. I placed the battery to here and get, I not gave the battery's power to the Arduino Uno because the power from the battery is 10 watts. But it takes more power like 10 watts or 11 watts. So I need to power it up with my power bank. And I left it in the in this side because it will give weight to the lead and uh, if the servo opens it up and if it's closed it will not uh, all closed in until the weight is given so i uh, place the battery here so now and you want to keep the servo in the correct place so it can open the lid easily and fastly now let's use it then i Keep the object in front of the ultrasonic sensor. The servo opens up and the lid opens up and it closes. The weight from the battery closes it up easily. And the ultrasonic sensor senses any object is near that and the servo opens up the gate. So now it's working. You can keep this in your desk and when you need to throw some garbage, you can use this awesome project with it so you can do some awesome works if thank you for watching if you like my videos hope sure you like subscribe and share